All right, guys, this is going to be a quick review on the FPS multiplayer template 5. This is going to be an updated review. A lot of people requested it. So I did this on the Unreal 4 version. Not going to waste any more time, so let's get right into it. This is going to be the most updated version, Unreal 5. I'm just going to hop into it, push play, and we'll see what we get. I'm going to turn my FPS off. I already know this runs at like 90 to 100 FPS, and I'm on a mid-grade computer, so... That's really good. So let's take a look at what we got. I'm going to go to Kill Confirmed because that's one of my favorite modes. Click play and away we go. So, as soon as I spawn in, you'll see we got the same game timer counts down. I got the bots in the game. Uh, everything feels smooth as it did before as well. They added in, it looks like they added a UAV in as well, which is kind of cool, like the spy plane from Call of Duty. That wasn't in the last version, so that's a, a welcome feature. So it looks like they got more perks added. I'm curious to see how that works. So this looks and plays almost exactly like Call of Duty, which is fantastic. So if anybody's looking to make like a Call of Duty type game, this is probably the best way to get you started. There's other versions out as well, and I did some reviews on them before. I think they're, the other one, I'll, I'll post it in the, in the description what the other one was, because I did a comparison between this and another one before. And I think at one point the other one was getting better, but I tested the other one as well on Unreal 5, and the optimi optimization is absolute terrible. I get like 20 FPS in the other one, and this one I'm getting like... Well, I'm recording, but I'm still up to 80, but I was at 100 either way so in terms of features I'm gonna give this a, a total 5 out of 5 I mean you're getting all kinds of game modes the AI works fantastic it always did in this even in the earlier releases the AI was never an issue they don't get stuck they play the maps perfectly and and they do exactly what they're supposed to and there's a bunch of new features which is cool like there's the UAV I'm curious to see if there's some other stuff in there but with all the features is definitely a solid 5 out of 5 on that front so I'm just going to play this for a second and see if there's anything I'm missing here. If the lean is still there. Very smooth gameplay. So all around this is solid. I mean you're getting getting a lot of bang for your buck with this one I think. And that's always been the case. So we'll talk about the good, bad, and the ugly with this in a second here. I just like collecting these tags. and I'm trying to get the spy plane but not uh, not having much luck. I'm not going to give it a whole lot of time, I don't want to waste anybody's time, but this is actually pretty fun to play. So I think I have it. Yeah, I do. UAV Online. Okay, so my little mini-map on the left there is scanning for enemies. That's really cool. So yeah, features. Really good. Alright. I'm going to exit out of that. You guys can see what it's all about. It's basically a, all kinds of game modes. There's Conquest, Rush. Kill Confirm, which is what I was just playing. There's Team Deathmatch. Capture the Flag is in here. Free for all. And you guys can make custom maps, of course. Anything you want to do in there. The bots work really well. I've made other maps and dropped the bots in, and they function just as well as they do in the demo map. I don't have any issue with them sticking. No issues whatsoever there. The only bad thing I want to talk about this, and it was an issue before as well as the support for this, is just... I find it terrible. To be honest, uh, the support I gotta give like a one star, maybe even a zero now. It, it hasn't got better. And I'm having a lot of issues myself with retargets on this. Like to add my own custom player in this is a nightmare. With the retargets, I haven't been able to do it yet. And in Unreal 4, I was kind of a master of retargets and animations, but once UE5 came along with their retarget methods, I don't know if it's just this template, but this is the only one I'm having issues with. When I retarget the character, their legs are wobbly and their arms don't line up. I'm using the retarget manager that's included with this. So I don't want to give anybody bad information here because I haven't been able to do it right myself. But there's retargeters included in this. I've used those. I've used the old method where you right click on things and you go to retarget. Nothing seems to work right. The characters either don't walk right or something just doesn't click. And it's not so much just me because if I go to the Discord channel, I'm just going to mute this and pause for a second. Alright, I'm back in there. Didn't want to waste anybody's time. So yeah, even in the support channels, 
Uh, there's a lot of people that had issues with the retargeting. It's not just me. There's def defamation is what they're talking about here with the lags being wonky. And I've had just a ton of issues with the retargets. It just hasn't worked for me in UE5. I haven't came across anybody that has gotten it to work that posted actual information on how to. And anytime I post a question in this, it's gotten worse over the last couple months. So anytime you post anything in this customer support, they're just, they're toxic in there. That's not just me. There's just, they're backhand comments back towards you. Or they tell you to go check YouTube. There's plenty of tutorials, but it's never specific to what you're trying to do. So expect some hiccups there. If you don't already know how to retarget in Unreal 5, you're going to have some issues with this one because there's something just not quite the same because I can retarget a Lyra character and I can retarget all kinds of things but for some reason I can't get it to work in this if somebody has an answer for me by all means publish it down in the comments and I'll, I'll post and help the community as much as I can but as far as getting it to work I mean I haven't been able to and the support on the discord like I said one out of five zero out of five uh, I can't recommend it in that aspect to getting any help there you may get a a couple of support options there but if, if you do go in there and you get verified and stuff use the search tab to see if anybody's as they asked the question before otherwise you're gonna get flamed so on to optimization I'm giving that a 5 out of 5 I don't think you're gonna find anything as optimized as this especially in UE5 this runs fantastic uh, user-friendly this is I would say probably a 3 out of 5 in the user-friendly uh, I haven't really opened this template up until now in, in UE5, so this is the first time for me. It used to be done in the character select. It was a widget, maybe? Is it this one? Yeah, this is where it was always done before. So what you would do if you wanted to add a new gun, you go into your graph. And then I think it was weapons or primary weapons they were called. Maybe I spelled it wrong. So it's the same. You just go into your primary weapons and you add new weapons through here and you'd make new weapon blueprints and stuff so that's all the same setup and you can find tons of information on that in the discord and probably in the documentation so with a little bit of research you'll be able to do all that now my personal opinion on this whole template you're getting a lot of bang for your buck it is worth the money the the features five out of five if you wanted to make any first person shooter game i think this is a a solid base and you also get access to the ue4 version which i highly recommend I've been using that for quite some time now, so what I do, because I can't get the tar the character story retargeted, is what I've been doing with this is I've been making a base template in 4.27 on real, retargeting all my characters because there's a different way the characters are set up that I really liked, and then I upgrade the project to UE5, and then I have all my characters baselined and all my guns in, and then I rework it from there, but I'm sure there's better workarounds, but that's just how I've been doing it. And, I mean, overall, I'm giving this uh, a 4 out of 5 stars. It's not a waste of your money. 100% highly recommend it. Aside from the support of things, if that got a little bit better, I'd give it a higher rating. But uh, I think that's pretty honest and, and well-rounded for what it is. Hopefully you guys check it out. Hopefully this helps you guys in making your decision. But if it was down to this asset and the other one that I mentioned before... I would have to go with this one just because of the optimization. It's just fantastic. I don't think it could be optimized any better. So, all in all, four out of five stars. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. We got some new stuff coming out, uh, quite a few different reviews coming out. So, be sure to check those out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.